Hi, this is Tobias, DLSV-MHT, with a short video from the sick bed. As you know, I've broke my humerus head, so right shoulder the ball of the ball joint, and I'm recovering here. So this will be a bit of a different video, because I don't have the stamina to sit in front of the laptop for uh, long hours editing. So we do this quick and dirty. Egg timer, set it to 10 minutes and see uh, what we get. Okay, so what do we have here? Here I have a micro pixie or super pixie kit. Um, as you might know, we at uh, TAS, the European Ham Radio Show, wanted to do a joint kit build. And we thought this is a nice kit to, to start embarrassing ourselves. So let's get it out and see what we get. This kit has been around for several years. If you look on the on YouTube, you see a lot of people have built it before, but this is the first time I see it. So fresh out of the box, my first impression. Um, so this is called a Super Pixie, I think, and that means you get a nice case with a uh, PCB front and back plate and I think there's looks like there's plenty of room here in the case so maybe I can also put in a, a speaker on the top side here and we don't need uh, the speaker check here okay so you get the case the front and the back PCB um, the PCB the parts looks I mean for the amount of money this thing costs it's ridiculous yeah so I don't know how much subsidization of the Chinese post is happening here so now let's get this all out and hopefully not lose anything okay so what do we have here Okay, these are the feet that screw on, BNC connector at the back, and what else do we have at the back? Power connector, so the power connector is this one I guess. And on the front what do we have? Obviously two checks for the Kia and speaker, and uh, some potentiometer for frequency adjustment or side tone adjustment, I guess. Okay, then there's a buzzer here. So this does not have a side tone generator, I guess. So they're just using the buzzer to generate the beep when you press the key. And yeah, a lot of other parts. So maybe let's look at the schematic and see what we have here. So I ordered this from eBay and it arrived in a very short time. I guess the interesting bit is the schematic. Yeah, I think this is a nice beginner's kit. Um, but let's look at the schematic, how good or bad this might work. Okay, so let me get a key, a uh, uh, key, I said a pen, a point, or a screwdriver. Okay, screwdriver. So, what do we have here? Um, Okay, so here comes the power in from the power socket, uh, diode for polarity protection, um, few capacitors, 100 microfarad, 100 nanofarad. Yeah, just standard input stage, no voltage regulator, so it uses whatever power you connect to it. It says 9 to 12 volt. Probably also works with. Uh, the FIPO 
14.6 volt, but I don't know if the thing can take it. So then, um, what else do we see? Okay, so here's the Kia input. Uh, Kia probably shorts to ground, which basically just connects the buzzer directly to the VCC rail. So it starts buzzing. And there's also a LED, so I guess the LED will light up when you press the key. Then here we have the LM386 uh, output amplifier. Uh, that does not seem to be volume adjustment or maybe the volume adjustment is here. No, that's the tune button, I guess. Okay, so probably fixed volume going to the headphone check. Yeah, maybe I have to look. I mean, LM386 is pretty standard amplifier that a lot of people use. Um, so I can probably also connect this, uh, whatever, 0 0.5 watt speaker here and maybe change a few components here in order to um, make it work with the speaker and not just with headphone. Then um, from the antenna here we have uh, hmm, very sparse uh, low pass filter with just one fixed inductor which is probably how many inductors do we have here yeah one of these green ones to look at the color code which one is the one micro henry one so ah you know second my arm i can't really lift my right arm so i have to do everything to the left here. So this is probably the 22 micro Henry because I see two red rings. And here we have one zero zero and was the golden ring? I don't know. Yeah, one of one of those is the 100 micro Henry. One is the one micro Henry. And that's the uh, the L here for a simple low pass filter. I have my doubts if this is enough to suppress um, the harmonics. You know, second harmonic, fourteen megahertz, third, fourth harmonic. So I guess in order to make this a bit nicer, it would be probably better to add another. Stage. I've built a low pass filter for 40 meter a while ago. It looks ugly, but it has like um, minus 60 dB at the first harmonic. Let me quickly get it. It's here somewhere in the shack. Here it is. Yeah, it looks ugly as hell, but this is how pr proper. Well, at least a low pass filter with sufficient rejection looks like. So you have here three toroids. And yeah, I can show you one day on the nano VNA. So again, yeah, this output stage might not be sufficient. It might be a good idea to add, a, uh, add another low pass filter behind. Then what else do we have? Here is the crystal. Uh, Q1 is probably uh, where is the key I connected? The key is connected here. So I guess this is the is our seven megahertz RXTX oscillator. Then Q2 is probably the amplifier. So when you um, key down, then this goes to ground, and then this is probably a simple emitter, base emitter, PLP, no NPN amplifier. And reception wise, how does that work, or might that work? Okay, RX signal goes in here. And where is it coupled to? And we somehow have to mix it with the 7 megahertz with a slight offset in order to get a tone out. Um, so I guess, yeah, this, they are using 
this diet to yeah it's a simple rectifier circuit and then here it goes maybe I'm completely wrong you know my my day job is software engineering so I'm just really making it up here looking for the very first time at the schematic so trying to understand where is my RX signal coming in if this is not switching through then where is the signal the RX uh, signal mixed with the oscillator in order to get our um, NF so can't just can't see it yeah and that was our 10 minutes yeah <laughs> okay uh, yeah maybe that works keep keep it short a um, uh, quick first look at the uh, Super Pixie. Um, it looks like a nice simple uh, beginner kit. Uh, should not be a big problem to assemble all through whole components. Um, how good or well or worse it performs, I can't say. As I said, the um, low pass filter on the output is probably, yeah, could do with a few more capacitors and inductors here to get sufficient harmonic rejection and yeah I'll look offline how the the RX uh, signal works I mean in principle get our CW signal in here must be mixed with the oscillator get the NF output and then we have here our NF signal like I don't know 500 600 800 Hertz whatever you prefer as a side tone goes through the NF amplifier and to the headphone check. So this is how it might work. Or maybe I'm completely wrong and then you can uh, correct me in the comments. So thanks for watching um, and until next time. Bye.